The fiscal crisis in Europe is deepening, particularly in France, where this year's deficit is projected to exceed 6% of GDP, outpacing even the United States. France's total debt has ballooned to a staggering 3.2 trillion euros, surpassing the country's entire economic output. This dire situation stems largely from a persistent trade deficit, currently over 5 billion euros each month. As the debt is downgraded and economic pressures mount, President Emmanuel Macron faces the critical challenge of revitalizing the economy. Italy is grappling with a similar crisis. Since Giorgia Maloney assumed leadership, the country's expenditures have consistently eclipsed revenues, resulting in a staggering gap of 120 billion euros. Like France, Italy is struggling to enhance its trade revenues, hampered by structural inefficiencies and a lack of competitiveness. Europe is in a perilous state. Further taxing an already financially strained populace would only worsen the situation. Consumers are broke, and raising taxes is politically and economically untenable, particularly when considering the significant trading relationship with China. Recently, the EU voted to impose tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles with key support from France and Italy, as well as the Baltic states. This move has the potential to ignite a trade war with China, impacting not only the countries that supported the measure, but also those that abstained, such as Spain. In this scenario, it's reminiscent of the Three Musketeers, all for one and one for all. China has responded with import taxes on EU brandy, an act of direct retaliation that signals more punitive measures could be on the way. Unless the EU reverses its decision, this could severely hinder brandy exports, making it challenging for EU producers to access the Chinese market. Chinese importers are now facing a deposit requirement of up to 39% on the import value, effectively a punitive tariff that could cripple this low-margin sector. The stock market is already reacting with major players like LVMH and Remy Martin experiencing significant drops in share prices. This situation highlights the fragility of the French economy, as falling earnings projections are likely to reverberate across the broader market. China is strategically calibrating its response to the EU tariffs. While brandy exports to China are worth under $2 billion, Chinese EV exports to Europe exceed $13 billion. This disparity suggests that Beijing has more retaliatory tools at its disposal. Targeting EU brandy is just the beginning. It is indicative of a broader strategy. The EU's leaders must grasp the severity of their actions and the potential ramifications for their economies. The EU's largest trading partner remains the United States, However, the spectre of Donald Trump looms large over the trade landscape. Trump is advocating for a global tariff of at least 10%, with no exceptions for the EU, positioning himself to potentially bring auto manufacturing back to America at Europe's expense. Should he return to power, the consequences for the EU could be dire. In this context, the 27 member states of the EU, excluding Hungary, find themselves in a precarious situation. They've alienated China while also courting the risk of a Trump presidency. The primary casualty in this trade war is likely to be Germany, which could face targeted economic retaliation. German brands are already witnessing a decline in sales in China. BMW's sales have plummeted nearly 30%, while Mercedes-Benz has experienced over a 10% drop. These figures are indicative of a broader trend in which German automakers are losing ground in the Chinese market, not only due to tariffs, but also due to increasing competition from local EV manufacturers. The downward trend in sales is poised to worsen. As the EU continues to impose tariffs on Chinese products, Chinese consumers are likely to shift away from Western brands in favor of local alternatives. The Chinese government is already urging domestic companies to source components locally, pivoting away from US suppliers like NVIDIA. This trend may extend to the EV market, leading to a further decline in demand for European brands in China.
Volkswagen is particularly concerned as CEO Oliver Bloom has made clear the existential threat posed to German automakers. If Volkswagen's vehicles manufactured in China cannot compete, it could jeopardize the entire export market to China. Last year, Germany exported 15 billion euros worth of vehicles to China, a critical revenue stream now hanging in the balance. Should tariffs rise to 30 or 40 percent, German cars could become uncompetitive overnight, leading to a rapid decline in market share. Germany's situation is further complicated by ongoing labor and energy crises. With cheap Russian gas no longer an option and political resistance to nuclear power, manufacturing costs remain high. The country desperately needs China to maintain its automotive export market, yet EU tariffs are pushing Beijing toward retaliation, putting Germany in a precarious position. The implications for Europe as a whole are severe. The EU's tariffs may inflict damage on China, but Beijing has alternative markets to target. The largest consumers of EVs are increasingly located within China itself. BYD, one of the world's leading EV manufacturers, reported a staggering 45% growth in sales year on year, with 417,000 vehicles sold in September alone. Notably, Less than 8% of their total sales came from international markets, indicating that fears of overcapacity are overblown. China's domestic market can easily absorb its production. While the EU remains a significant market for China, demand for Chinese vehicles is likely to decline further. Government subsidies in Germany have dried up and demand in France has fallen by over 30%. Across the entire EU, Car sales have hit a three-year low, with EV sales down by a staggering 44%. The market is in freefall and consumers simply lack the financial means to purchase affordable vehicles, particularly from China. Reflecting on Wayne Gretzky's famous quote, you skate to where the puck is going to be, it's clear that China is positioning itself for future demand that is shifting away from the G7 nations. In 2024, the main growth drivers will emerge from BRICS nations, India and the UAE. China's growth is expected to surpass the global average, with a rising middle class poised to expand its purchasing power. In contrast, Europe is stagnating, with France and Italy growing at rates below 1% and Germany potentially facing zero or negative growth this year. The ongoing trade war with China will likely worsen the EU's economic woes, exacerbating inflation and deepening the trade deficit. Ironically, the very globalization that has interconnected markets could become a double-edged sword for Europe. China's recent punitive measures against EU brandy imports signal that Beijing can source alternatives elsewhere. Next in line for tariffs could be EU pork imports, particularly affecting Spain, where nearly 20% of pork exports go to China. With the potential for further retaliatory actions from China, Europe's economic landscape is fraught with peril. In conclusion, Europe finds itself caught between the tightening grip of a protectionist US and a retaliatory China. The decisions made in Brussels could have far-reaching consequences, leading to an economic crisis that might redefine the relationship between Europe and its key trading partners. The stakes have never been higher and the path forward is fraught with uncertainty.